My name is Mike Mackert. I'm the director of the University of Texas at Austin Center for Health Communication. I teach both advertising and public relations in the Moody College of Communication and in population health at Dell Medical School. When I think about teaching, it's really important to create a safe space where students can make some mistakes. Uh, I'm a huge fan of giving students 10 minutes to try and do something that maybe they've never done before, but they're going to do the best they can. And then we can have a conversation and learn from that first try, what kind of mistakes did they make? What did they do really well? And so creating that safe space to share imperfect work is really important to learning in my opinion. I spent nine years at Michigan State University. Uh, I started by getting a bachelor's in chemistry and then made a pretty substantial shift to go to the College of Communication for graduate school, where I finished with a PhD in mass media and information studies with a specialization in health communication. I arrived at UT in 2006, uh, teaching the School of Advertising and Public Relations. And so while I was pursuing my health communication research, I was busy teaching general advertising classes on strategy and campaigns. Since 2017, I've served as the director of our Center for Health Communication. And so since then, I've really been focusing on health communication education, facilitating research on campus related to health communication, and practice, because our, our center develops and implements evidence-based health comm campaigns on a range of health issues working with external partners. A lot of people get into health comm because they want to use their research interests and skills to help support people's health. Um, it was an accident for me. Uh, when I went to graduate school, I was intending to study e-commerce and technology, but the very first project I worked on in my graduate program was a telehospice system. And so we were providing hospice care by video phone. And so I got to actually interview some of the nurses and some of the people who were using the system and, and dying on hospice care and heard how much that system improved end of life care for them. And I was sort of in love from the very first project and have been doing health communication ever since. Mm -hmm.